Hi everybody, it's Jessica, one of the physical therapists at Revolutions in Fitness, and today we're going to be talking about cupping. So you might have heard of cupping before, but maybe you haven't learned exactly what is going on when the cupping technique is applied. So when we use cupping, the thought is, so anytime there's an injury or maybe a surgery, scar tissue can lay down between the various tissues of the body, say uh, between the fascia and the muscle, the tendons and ligaments. And when that scar tissue lays down, we call it an adhesion, and that causes the tissues not to be able to slide and glide on each other very well or as efficiently as you move. Because if you think about it, when you're moving, say doing a squat, your muscles need to be able to slide and glide on each other, your ligaments, fascia, all that needs to be able to move past each other in order for you to have efficient movement. And so what the cupping does, it's called myofascial decompression. It essentially lifts those tissues or all those layers. So muscle, from fascia, from ligament, from tendon, all of that tissue gets lifted and the blood flow can receive, or the tissues can receive blood flow. And that helps to decompress that area. And then after that's been applied for a couple minutes, the cup is released. That tissue is then able to slide and glide on each other a little more efficiently. 